It's Sunday afternoon. I've been sitting here pondering this top link bracket. And I was going to take this piece of angle iron here and just slice it into two flat plates and tack it on each side there and put a hole in it. But then I got looking at this and I realized the top link is exactly one inch wide and the center of that is an inch and a quarter. So we're going to put it in the bandsaw and slice the top and the bottom of it out and punch a hole through it and uh, we're going to have a ready-made mount there. That's just the remnants of uh... Here, let me pull this off. This here is the remnants of the uh, weight bracket that we used to have on here. So it's already perfectly fit. It's got bolt holes on each side already. So we're just going to slice her out and be ready to go. Here we have it all cut out. Perfect fit. Just got to smooth it off a little bit and drill the hole. Now what you need to get it cleaned up, throw some paint on it, and this hitch is done. Got it painted up. Need to get it bolted in place and uh, we can start putting the seat pan back on it. Get the tractor put back together. So the lady's foot and uh, these holes lined up. It's so definitely easier than the first time I installed this. The uh, I didn't take the seat pan off the first time, and so the gas tank and everything was right down here and. I was reaching up down from the bottom doing this and for no more work than it is, I don't know why I didn't take it off the first time too. Yeah. 
and there we go. It's installed. Show you guys the process of reinstalling the seat pan. If anybody's interested, has one of these older John Deere's. Um, first thing you got to do is you got to pull the gas cap off. Um, th this would be to remove it. Pull the gas cap off. You have to pull the the deck height knob off and uh, the high low range knob. I always pull the key out just because I'm afraid I'm gonna snap it off. And it's it is easier if your a park knob park brake is released. Just gives you a little more clearance. Um, We'll put it back on. The only annoying thing about putting it on is you got to fish the wiring for the uh, seat switch up through the hole, but it's really not that hard. Like most tasks, I'm sure this would be easier with two people, but it's really not that bad. Especially with mine, that has these handles on the fenders back here. I'm sure they're not factory, they look like something you'd see on a fishing boat, but it really just kind of slides down in place. And then, gotta get down here and get the dead man's uh, wiring up to the seat in here. There we go. Like I said, it's, it's really pretty darn easy to do. And that's it. And it only has four bolts that hold the whole thing. One here on each side, one here on each side, and that's it. And that is, uh, Definitely very nice. I'm going to miss that. Just the ease of how that comes off and you have so much room because you can see how restrictive this is back here now. But pretty easy. Definitely worth uh, the five, ten minutes it takes to take it off if you're going to do any work on the back end. Point hinge is completely done finally. Um, it has seven inches of travel, so I'm very happy with how it turned out. That should be enough to get an implement up off the ground far enough to uh, get around. So let's get busy making implements for it. If you guys like this, please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for some implement builds. Thanks.